What is up, guys? Welcome back to this episode of the Road to Redemption podcast. I'm, as always, your grateful host, Cam Williamson. We're back with a Kyle Rittenhouse update. I will apologize. I just had some dental work done, so if I'm talking just a hair funny, I apologize. My tongue is still getting used to everything, but I want to get into it. The prosecution has started their closing arguments against Kyle Rittenhouse, so that means the decision will go to the jury. Okay, first thing out the gate, uh, District Attorney Binger, who is widely criticized all throughout, I think even on both sides at this point, um, he starts the argument and he makes the point that I have based my entire decision and opinion on. When you claim self-defense, you are claiming that you entered an equal arena. And then while in that equal arena, somebody advanced away from the before mentioned mutual, you know, agreement of combat. So that means, as District Attorney Binger pointed, if me and you watching this get in a confrontation, I'm beating that ass. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's a joke, guys. I am not a professional of any kind, right? Right? Can we get that out of the way? Now, I am a subject matter expert at best in a few different areas. I'm not. I didn't go to journalism school. Not a fucking journalist. Right? I'm not a lawyer. I don't choose political sides, so I'm not invested in either party. I'm a human being who's expressing my freedom of speech. So for all these fake patriots out there that just go self-defense, 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 it was self-defense, Kyle for president, Kyle, free Kyle. You guys, hey, are idiots. You're dumb. You're the whole reason I make this show. Because even pro-gun people are stupid about guns. Here's the thing. If you and I get in a fight, right? And we're fighting. Ah, 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 ah. Now, the question is going to come that Rosenbaum was chasing Kyle. So if I'm chasing you because you have a gun, And, I need to point out, District Attorney Binger proved the provocation of the chasing, which was Kyle was pointing his gun at the Zeminskis while talking to them about whatever was going on next to that car. That's the provocation for, and you can see it on the video, why Rosenbaum runs. Let's talk about this for a minute. You all cannot act like you knew that Joseph Rosenbaum was a child molester. Before any of this happened. Let's, let's also point this out, guys. Is the streets in the middle of a protest or demonstration or mixture of both, right? There were some riotous activities and there were some peaceful demonstrations going on. So we'll say a mixture of two activities going on. Would that be a place that a child molester might pop up? Why would that be? Especially one that people love to point out, he's out scouting for little boys. Hmm, where would he be? I don't know. Maybe he would go down to a fucking protest where only stupid, unsupervised young men might be. Now again, we can't claim that we knew any of this. We can only go on action. So... Rosenbaum never said, now, Banger claims he has a video that's about to prove that Rosenbaum never claimed to kill him. We'll see. We're, we're on break at lunch, and I'll have to update everything tomorrow. So, again, he didn't say, like, I'm coming for you, little cutie, or anything like that. He's provoked him multiple times throughout the night with the gun. And now he's pointed it at someone. The chase ensues. So again, I have unarmed versus armed. Here's the point Binger's making, and he's going to continue to make throughout. If I have a gun, it's my responsibility to extinguish all possible options leading up to death. 
So I don't get to go from zero to death just because I have a gun. In the same way, if we get into a mutual agreement, fuck you, fuck me, let's do this, I don't get to kill you. I'm still guilty of murder if you die. Guess what? Because of our idiotic behavior mutually, I may go down for manslaughter, but there's a lot of things. If I've ever been proved to have any training, now these are dangerous weapons by the law because I'm trained in how to fight, which means I should have known better than to double tap your face and fucking knock you out. Because when, you're, when you fall and hit crack your head on the pavement, I can't control what happens to you. We're not in an octagon. There's not a ref to stop this or officiate when too much is too much. So you have to acknowledge the idiocy to begin with, right? We, and this is where my original stance was, we cannot, and I don't believe any reasonable person would, which is why I don't even respond to idiotic comments, and you'll notice that. If you don't get a comment from me, it's because your comment was just dumb, that's usually the reason, or I don't have time. Like, I posted a video, which is still on Instagram, it got removed from TikTok, which was showing the moment that um, Gage Grosskreutz advanced on Kyle, which was... The same as what he said in his testimony. He said he charged the weapon. I can't tell if he charged the weapon. He definitely, at least, I think it looks to me like he turns the weapon to check to see if it's loaded, and then bang. So either way, he's looking to manipulate that weapon. Grosskowitz sees that and says, fuck all that. I'm not waiting to find out. Same thing that Rittenhouse is claiming about Rosenbaum. I'm not waiting to find out why he's coming at me. But you don't get to do that. He doesn't have a gun. If he had a gun, then yeah, don't wait. It's gun on gun. But I can't shoot you with this. Which means, to the extent of my reach, is the extent of the threat. Now, if I get a hold of a weapon that you have, and now I'm obtaining it, you have to look at, still at this moment, The entire situation that has actually happened. It didn't. But say Rosenbaum survives the first shot to the hip, which Binger is pointing out because he wants to show he was of no threat. Shot to the hip, hypothetically, gets the gun. Well, Kyle still has options at that point. He could go for the gun back. Rosenbaum could just toss the gun to somebody to get it out. We don't know because he's dead. Everyone enjoys the emotional pull of all this. Here's why. Because it's allowing people to continue with ignorant beliefs about what reality is. Which is, most people are weak. And they don't have proper training to be in those situations. And through this case, they're realizing that you're weak. That you carry a gun most of the time because you know you can't fight. And proven by the after comments of most idiots that claim they agree this is self-defense, you're the type of person that carries a gun around saying that if anybody does anything, I'm going to cap that motherfucker. That is not right. It's not right. That's what the whole, like, George Floyd thing was trying to bring awareness to, it's kind of like, I'm not agreeing with Kaepernick's demonstration things, I'm not even commenting on it, I'm just saying, for years, this has all been trying to be approached, which is, it's not right to shoot people who are unarmed, it's not right, and it's not by the law, we wanted any other police officer that shoots an unarmed man to be convicted For reasons, you know, unless there's extenuating circumstances. There's not here. Like, it's armed, unarmed, and it just doesn't make sense. Like, it makes me so incredibly frustrated to watch grown men who claim to be patriots try to further the narrative that being a weak man is something to be celebrated. 
There's a famous clip from the movie Friday. Hey, Craig, have you seen my sh... What's that for? Protection. Protection? Protection from who? Yeah, Smokey. You... I got to walk Smokey down to his house. Oh, man. Your mother and I never would have moved in this neighborhood if we hadn't known you need a gun to walk down the damn street. You know how it is around here. Oh, no, son. That's not the way it is. You kids today are nothing but punks. Sissified. So quick to pick up a gun. You're scared to take an ass whipping. This one makes you a man. When I was growing up, this was all the protection we needed. You win some, you lose some. But you live. You live to fight another day. And you think you're a man with that gun in your hand, don't you? I'm a man without it. Put the gun down. Where he's, you know, Craig's going to get his gun. And his dad goes, put that thing down. Right here. Right here. You handle it right fucking here. Because that's how shit used to get handled, right? Then people went, well, you can't even do that anymore because you'll get fucking sued. You know why? Because you can't just go around beating people's ass who don't. Rogan was just talking about it. I, I think it was California. I'm not 100% sure. I think it was California. Two rival gangs go through the city shooting at each other. It killed people. The city doesn't charge because it's considered mutual combat. Two parties, both with guns, shooting at each other. They can't prove who did it, so they can't bring up charges on murder. But they're proving that it was mutual combat, so they didn't charge. Am I agreeing with that? No, but if you can't prove who it is, Kyle's mistake, I guess in this case, is he got found. I'm not advocating anyone to run from the law, so let's get that clear. Here's the other thing that Second Amendment supporters, which you're not, let's just be clear, you're not, you're just ignorant, claim that because, guys, like, I'm a veteran. I'm a Second Amendment believer and supporter. So, like, don't get that fucked up. But you have to do it the right way. If you engage with conflict, it's even conflict. If you can't fight, learn how to fight. Or, if you don't want to learn how to fight, don't insert yourself in dangerous situations where there's conflict. Known conflict, like riotous activity, demonstrations of civil unrest, whatever you want to call it. You weak cowards out there who claim just because you have a long beard and have the American flag all over your shit, that doesn't make you a patriot just because you can say the word self-defense. You fucking idiots. Now, whether or not Kyle Rittenhouse will be found guilty will be up to the jury. It ain't up to me. It's not up to anybody watching this video. It's not up to the judge at this point. It's not up to the prosecutors. It's not up to the defense. It is up to the jury. Binger, in my opinion, is doing a good job of bringing common sense back into things. He was very careful for once, to ensure that these instructions to the jury were given in a way that would line up with his story, right? And I don't think the defense did a good job this morning when going back and forth on how to instruct. I think they lost. Um, in dropping that sixth charge, which they did, the possession of illegal firearm, the state dropped that charge or agreed to dismiss that charge. That was tactful. We're going to see why later. Um, I can't really figure out why, but I, I think it's pretty much going to be that they dropped that sixth charge of an unlawful possession. And 
when the defense is going to make him out to be a young kid that looked up to law enforcement and thought he was helping, they're going to show that he was an ignorant fucking kid, not trained to do what he did, not lawfully allowed to do what he did, with provocations, and with the clause under Wisconsin state law, and now they dropped this charge, so it's not an issue anymore, but under Wisconsin state law, it does say a 17-year-old can have a, a long gun for target practice. It does have stipulations. But then it says, unless handling this weapon, I'm paraphrasing, is to cause serious bodily damage or harm to himself, herself, or another. So right there, the actions taken with the weapon dictate whether it was legal. If a 17-year-old is standing like this with the weapon, sure. Sure, if it's at a low ready and it's not in a threatening position that anyone who would be handling a weapon responsibly, which is not pointing it at anyone, which is not just aimlessly kind of walking with it like this because you don't know where it's pointed. Low ready, shooter's ready, high ready, a lot of shit here, right? You would know that from training. You would know again and be ready for if you had taken all precautions to make sure that when you go out there with that weapon and you take any action with it, with it, you can do what? This is something that they teach number one in the military, especially the military police corps, police corps which is what I was, in law enforcement. It's all about what you can articulate. Can you show, say, represent exactly what happened? And were you justified in doing those things? Can you articulate what happened? But hearsay, and I thought, and that's going to be the reason, I believe Kyle still ends up in jail. Unless the defense comes in with a banger, which we're going to find out tomorrow, but right now we don't know. They're at lunch. I'm still sitting here watching. Now, for everyone that is saying that I'm biased, again, I'm not. I try to get all my news sources from the most, like, neutral sources I can. I was watching Law and Trial TV to get all the accounts, like all the cross-examinations and the eyewitness, because I don't want any kind of influence. I keep watching ABC live streams on YouTube that and all they're showing is the footage of the courthouse. If anybody speaks or legal experts come on, I turn it off because here's the thing. There's a lot of legal experts that are cashing in on all this because they're giving legal knowledge. Remember, that applies to their state. They usually, in this situation, in that situation, they would be allowed to give personal opinions on the case where it would just be like Joe Rogan, right? If Joe Rogan is comment, uh, commentating on a fight, he's not allowed to pick a winner on that fight. But when he's not commentating, he can pick a winner on that. Same thing in this situation, right? So you got to be very, very careful. And just like, again, don't just watch clips of the case. A lot of people, when the original video that I put up on TikTok got removed, it's still on Instagram. The one of um, Kyle manipulating the weapon. When that originally got removed, it was because people started being jerks to each other. Within minutes of posting it, it had thousands of views. And I'm in there trying to have my opinion, your opinion, your opinion, my opinion. And every single time you can go and look on the ones that still exist, we're doing this. We're coming together. We're coming to a common understanding in almost every single situation that someone's not being an ignorant asshole. And then when they do become ignorant assholes and they bring their buddies in and then they bring more ignorant assholes with them, what happens is we, me, myself, and anyone who agrees with what I'm saying, or a lot of the times there was people who disagree with me that's still going and telling people, hey, man, you got to be cool. If you're not cool, they're going to take this shit down. And what happens is you get two or three irresponsible, ignorant fucking people that get on there and start calling names and making threats and doing dumb shit that they don't have any way to back up outside of cowardly shooting someone because you do this. Run your mouth. 
instead of no and have any way to back up what's behind that. That's why they always tell people, when there's loud people out there chirping, let them chirp. People that are doing shit and like are legitimate in their points, they don't engage in that type of behavior. There was a lot of people that go, oh, you're trying to act like this. You're trying to act like that. I have a whole show that's based around being me. You want to see me? Come to my show. You want to see somebody else? Go to their show. You want to see a personality type that you define some way or you think that my take on it def- puts me in this category of politics or that one, and you want to do that? That's on you. I could give a fuck. I feel what I feel. I choose not to identify with any party of any sort. But if you feel like I'm a part of a certain political party or bias or whatever, my friend, if it helps you sleep at night, believe what you need to. And with that, I'm going to... I've enjoyed this. I'm not going to lie. I've enjoyed having something to invest my time and energy into that I genuinely care about. I'm going to try to grab some lunch while they're grabbing lunch and get this video edited while um, the closing closings continue. And uh, yeah, I'll check back with you guys tomorrow with everything that Binger finishes off with, anything else that happens, and the defense's closing statements. The Ahmad Arbery trial is happening right now. I'm, I'm Slightly paying attention to both. I know the Ahmaud Arbery case. It was the one where he's running through the neighborhood. I'm not familiar enough with it to comment on it yet, in my opinion. Also, there is racial divide in that one. And that specific... Uh, people, like, people keep even claiming that I'm commenting on this one because I'm racist in one way or the other. It doesn't make sense. Everybody involved is of the same race and it doesn't make sense. And because there is that divide, I've chosen to kind of leave that one alone. But at the same time... It's just happened at the exact same time that I caught focus on the Rittenhouse one. So it, it just happened first. I am following it, but again, I don't know enough uh, to, to even comment on it at this point. And I don't think I'm even going to have time to catch myself up in time to have or make an opinion uh, before they reach a verdict. It looks like they're getting pretty close and they're pretty deep in the trial. So go follow on that. And uh, if you guys have comments on that, I'd love to hear it. Uh, I, I, if you guys have things, I'd love to look into it. Anybody that's reasonable and talks like a normal human, they'll find that I look into things and I will watch the videos you send me as long as they're credible. Uh, yeah. And guys, just be, keep being nice to each other, right? You can disagree. Don't be an asshole. It's just that simple. Love you guys.